Dubai is a dynamic city known for its stunning skyline, luxurious shopping malls and world-renowned attractions like the Burj Khalifa. The city combines the modern with the traditional to provide something for everyone, whether it's a thrilling desert adventure, exploring the souks or simply marvelling at the incredible architecture. Join us as we explore the city over the next two days. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video and welcome to Dubai. Uh, this is the first stop off on a pretty epic trip that we're doing. Um, our final destination is the Seychelles but uh, we've decided to stop off in Dubai for a couple of days. Um, for Rebecca and I it's been on our list of somewhere that we've wanted to visit for quite a few years now but uh, it's never really been that high up but when you go into the Seychelles especially from London Dubai is quite a handy stopover so um, so yeah that was that was the reason for coming here and uh, this morning uh, we've come to the old town literally hopped off the plane checked into our hotel and came here we're only in Dubai for a couple of nights but we're gonna try and pack in a lot while we're here later this evening we'll explore more of the downtown sort of Burj Khalifa area and then tomorrow we've got a trip to the desert but um, it's in the afternoon, so we'll hopefully get a nice sunset. But yeah, really looking forward to this trip. I think it's going to be a really good adventure. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to sitting on the beach and relaxing for the next couple of weeks. Um, but in the meantime, really excited to explore Dubai. This area can be traced back centuries as a trading port. And over time, the area has been restored to preserve its historic charm. I'm not sure how old this old city is, if you know what I mean. So yeah, it's an interesting mix of the historic and the modern. You can tell the actual buildings are quite old, but all the shops have modern amenities. So yeah, it's quite interesting. It's really nice, lots of coffee shops, lots of kind of spice shops as well. But yeah, it's quite, um, quite relaxing actually. It's nice to get out of the sort of hustle and bustle of the city. now come to the uh, Dubai frame uh, which is um, pretty incredible. I suppose just uh, trying to figure out the best way to get around the city because we sort of went on the metro to the old city which kind of gets you into a broad area and then we sort of walked the rest of the way but then we got taxi from there to the frame because it looked like the metro wasn't really um, gonna get us where we wanted so yeah, it's kind of tricky really. We did look at getting a, uh, like a tourist bus that stops off at lots of different places, but it was quite, quite pricey for what it, what it was. So I think we're going to stick with taxis where we need to. I've got to say the frame is pretty impressive. Just the scale of it is like immense. We didn't actually go inside the official grounds of the frame, but we got a pretty cool view as we walked through the park on our way to the metro station. We then made a quick stop at the Museum of the Future. Again, we didn't go inside the actual museum, but we saw the incredible architecture of the entrance hall and the outside. And next we went to the infamous Dubai Mall, first to get some food and then to visit the aquarium, which is one of the largest indoor aquariums in the world. We then headed to a spectacular viewpoint for sunset. So for sunset this evening, we've come to the balcony, the 42nd floor of the Shangri-La Hotel. 
which is where we're staying actually. Um, and yeah, one of the main reasons I wanted to stay here was this viewpoint, this balcony. Um, unfortunately, the main viewpoint is in use this evening for a proposal, but so yeah, there's this sort of secondary balcony, which is probably just as good to be honest, but um, yeah, had a pretty good sunset, got some color in the sky, but I think the shot I really wanted was is the one at the moment where you get the blue sort of color in the clouds and then all of the lights coming on. So yeah, really nice evening. Nice way to end what is uh, quite a long day here in Dubai. And the day didn't end there. We headed downtown to see the renowned fountain show at the Burj Khalifa. We ended up waiting quite a long time that night for the show to start. Anyway, the takeaway here is to double check when the shows actually start. And I've got to say, it was definitely worth the wait. It was spectacular. After that we ended up grabbing some dinner at a restaurant which overlooked the fountains, so we saw a couple more shows that evening. Alright, good morning everyone and welcome to the viewpoint at the 42nd floor. The viewpoint is open access to, to guests, I think, but um, just makes it easier if you stay in the hotel. Um, you can sort of come up here when you, when you want. So you get this amazing view of the Burj Khalifa and you get this amazing network of like interconnected roads in the, in the foreground, which um, yeah, is, is pretty epic to be honest. Um, I remember seeing this image years and years ago and um, it was sort of the definitive um, image of Dubai, in my mind anyway, so I really wanted to, um, to capture it. It's a pretty good viewpoint to come to actually because it gives you a good viewpoint of the different landmarks and where they are in relation to one another and get some nice light at the moment. It took a while for the sun to actually pop up above the haze and the clouds, but um, yeah, it's really nice at the moment. After sunrise we got some breakfast and decided on a quick visit to the marina before our desert trip in the afternoon. And yeah, arriving to this area was quite interesting, it definitely feels like a city away from the city. Alright, so we've now made the 20 minute taxi journey out to the marina area. And yeah, very a very different part of Dubai, I think. And yeah, I guess it attracts a different kind of holiday maker, someone who wants more of a beach holiday and likes going out to the bars in the evening. It was then time to get picked up for our desert trip and there's loads of companies that offer this sort of trip, so we just went on TripAdvisor and went with the best reviewed one. We just elected for the basic package, but you can get loads of other options added on, like quad biking and an evening barbecue.
And after a bit of dune bashing, we've got to our viewpoint for the next few moments. Um, it's, it's quite weird weather. I'm not sure how to describe it. It's really cloudy, but it's also, I don't know, really hazy. So it was kind of quite a weird atmosphere. The overall trip is, it's a good experience. I think if you've never sort of been to the desert before and you just want a taste of it, um, but Rebecca and I were sort of saying that I think we, because we went to Morocco and did the Sahara Desert, and that was a brilliant experience. Uh, we sort of spoiled it for ourselves, I think, um, doing this because it was so brilliant in in Morocco and just the overall setting. Whereas uh, in this area and the the trip we're doing, um, it is a little bit commercialised, and you know where they did the quad biking. Yeah, there are loads of people there which i guess it yeah it's very sort of commercialized after another long day we were quite exhausted and would built up quite the appetite so nearby the hotel we saw this place called 24th street world street food which had some pretty good reviews online so we thought it was worth a go and this turned out to be an incredible choice and genuinely some of the best food both of us have ever had so yeah definitely worth checking this place out And that wraps up the video. Our short visit to Dubai was over, but I think we packed in a lot. In the next video, we'll be starting the next leg of our adventure as we touch down in the Seychelles.